Hi, I'm Olaf Deagle, and this is one of my 3D printed guitars. Um, it's a project I started, I'm, I'm very passionate about 3D printing and what it can do for industry in all sorts of different areas. And as an experimental project, I decided, you know, can you actually print a working 3D guitar, 3D guitar with the technology? And it, it turned out so well that we decided there was something worth starting a little business out of printing essentially custom made guitars where we make each guitar to the customer's specification with whatever they want in them. So the way 3D printing works is conventional manufacturing, you start with a block of material and you cut away everything you don't want, so there's a lot of wastage. 3D printing, you start with nothing and you build up the part slice by slice by slice by slice until the whole part is finished. Um, well, I, I started off with a spider guitar and it was really designed largely because it was the biggest we could do in the machine we have here in New Zealand. And I was sort of decided I'd go for a slightly heavy metal type themed guitar and I thought the spiders was quite appropriate. So we have a spider web and we have a lot of little spiders inside. And again, all printed in one piece. It comes out of the machine assembled and ready to go. So the final prototypes have got a wooden core through the middle of it. And that means again, it's part of the customization by using maple or mahogany or whatever wood we want on the inside. We can now customize the tone of the guitar as well as the way it looks. Um, at Massey University in the School of Engineering and Advanced Technology, we're doing both research on the technology, so developing new 3D printing technologies. So things like, for example, we're developing a machine to print in rubber, so you can print rubber parts or soft rubber parts. Also, we're doing a lot of research on applications, so how can we use this technology for the benefit of New Zealand? So because this changes business models. You can imagine that a company, instead of having hundreds of spare parts on a shelf, have one of these machines and print the parts as they need them. So it's really a game changer in terms of you know, how we do business in New Zealand. So we've got a big interest in how we can use this technology to maximum benefit. 3D printing can be used for absolutely anything you can imagine. Literally, if you draw it up on the computer, you can make it. So I've got a little example here. It's a bit of a strange example. This is a little radial engine. It's just a prototype, but you see when you turn the handle on the back, all the pistons move. Now this whole thing is printed in one piece, comes off the machine, assembled, ready to go. And it's being used, the technology is being used today. I mean, they print hearing aids with it, they print hip replacements with it. Um, today, it's used for anything that's high value enough. So if you're buying a warehouse rubber duck, probably not the technology to use to make that. But anything that's of a high value, anything of a guitar typically is a reasonably high value item. It's now affordable to make a lot of products using this technology. Well, we decided to see how good they sound. We decided we need somebody who plays a bit better than me. So, over to you, Neil. Thank <laughs> you.